My name is Mike Gurr and I'm the president of the Kensington Brewing Company. We were approached by Dessa with the idea to do something really crazy, something that we had never heard of before. They wanted to create a beer recipe using an AI model. I can't think of any other brewery that's done something quite like this. I've heard a lot about AI sort of uh, looking at other art forms and sort of producing paintings or music. Not a consumable, not a beer, at least. For our first iteration, we only had around 2,000 beer recipes to actually feed into it. So you can expect that the results weren't great. And the ingredients that it chose repeated one pound of roasted barley 66 times. That was the first run through of our model. <laughs> the first recipes that came through the system were kind of incomprehensible. We had versions that was just a long story about why they named the beer after their dog. You know, I, I think that my expectations are extremely low. <laughs> so the big step that we took after that was around 200,000 more recipes off from online. They fed that onto our model, which allows it to have enough data to more reasonably predict what goes into it. Beer. Maybe like an analogy is like this one has a much bigger brain and has learned a lot more before being trained to do beer recipes specifically. It sounds roughly like it would be the style it's describing. The ingredients look, it looks real. I'd buy it. There's probably, there's nothing here that's innovative. In fact, it's probably the opposite. It, it's quite traditional and, and conservative. They kind of look like a beer recipe. They were just like very basic. So it was kind of wanting to get that middle ground of something that's a little bit interesting or showed some sort of thought from a computer that doesn't have thought. Maybe the last ingredient, we tell it to be a little more crazy and then get a weirder ingredient for the last ingredient. A chaos setting. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> When I'm trying to go about making a recipe, I'll look at other inspirations. I'll look at sort of like food or cocktails that I'm sort of interested in and kind of think, how can I bring those flavors to a beer? So basically ask the computer to sort of start a recipe the same way I would. There's like these sort of natural combinations that you come across all over the world. I mean, we eat food every day and we're doing it without even consciously being aware of what works and what doesn't most of the time. It could even be a back and forth, like you, you suggest one thing, it suggests one thing, and you can modify things and keep it going. And I, I think it could be like this sort of loop where the brewer and the AI together are a lot better than just the AI by itself. That final round, we actually had probably about eight out of 10 they sent us were good. So then we had just to choose which one we thought would be the most interesting for us. We found one that was called Meringue, and it looked like it would be a tasty beer. The way we approached this project was, how can we enhance the creative process, not how can we replace our brewer? And this was about leveraging new technology in a way that we hadn't seen before, in a way that frankly made us feel a bit uncomfortable. But we knew right away it's so perfectly aligned with kind of how we operate our company, which is to step outside of our comfort zone. And what a better way to do that than sort of handing over the creative process to a machine. I'm excited to try the beer. I'm, uh, I'm honestly pretty anxious right now uh, as it's going through the brew house. Any new project like this, there's always a bit of unease around it. You never quite know until it hits the glass, but on paper, it looks absolutely amazing. I, I, I am actually, I, I am anxious about it. <laughs> After working on this project for almost a year, we are so excited to launch the product. We've tried it, it's awesome. It's a beer named Meringue that doesn't taste like meringue, doesn't look like meringue, but it's got mango and lactose and a good amount of hops. We tweaked a bit, but it's still the same recipe that they gave us. It's been a totally new experience for us to produce a beer this way, and I can't wait to share it with everyone. <laughs>